Hey, what is up guys? So my Julius Cruz here and we are going to be playing some Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 with Ayane. This is chapter 11, A Night in the City of Water on Master Ninja Difficulty. Yeah, Master Ninja. That's going to be tricky. That is the Ah, uh, that's the hardest difficulty setting on Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 for those of you that don't uh, that don't know that. So, all right, here we go. Let's check out the info here. What does it say? Young Ninja, uh-huh. Utterly silent, uh-huh. Okay, this is interesting. She is a Ku no Ichi, a female ninja. This says that she's racing toward her final battle, but should say her first and final battle. Because she doesn't have any more chapters in this game. She only has one chapter. Oh, yeah, this is a great angle right here. I love this angle. Very nice. Yeah, what's going on with Joe here? Is after more yes, than Joe. The demon They're statue. after your giant Viagra collection as what well. For the village. Find and the my Viagra collection, Ayane. Don't forget about that. It's very important. More important than my son. All right. So, basically, we're in these. This is the same chapter uh, with Ryu, but with Ryu, the city is during the day. With her, it's during the night. These guys, they look generic as all hell. I mean, look at this thing. They got like eight eyes on their faces. They're insanely friggin' ripped. Like, what the hell is this? Look at this guy. They got fangs, too. What the hell? Ah, this guy gets owned. Boom. The other guy has no idea what the hell is going on. He's like, what the hell is this? What's going on? How come he just exploded? Hey, what's going on? What's happening? And look at this. Look at this. He's actually facing the wrong way. And here she goes. She throws the cape like it's some kind of... uh. Wild Wild West movie. She comes in from the air. Very nice. Moon behind her. Boom! Slices that guy's face off. Very nice. No blood, but it's still cool. Okay, what the hell is this? Yeah, uh-huh. So she ran to five ninjas. And according to her, this is the right place. Simply because she ran to five ninjas. From the Black Spider Clan. Okay, Ayane. Alright. Whatever helps you uh, sleep at night, baby. Anyway. Take care of that guy. Ultimate technique time. Boom. There we go. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Room. Awesome. Is he still alive? No, he's dead. No way in hell he can survive that. Nobody can survive that. Anyway, take that guy's head off. Very nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, that actually playing Master Ninja. So one grab and it's over. Keep that in mind. One grab and the story's over. It's an instant game over. Anyway. Now, one thing I am going to be doing a lot here is this, the Frankensteiner, because it's insanely freaking fast. It's pretty safe. You can just spam it all day long. The guys, they can't really punish this. It's kind of like in Street Fighter, like certain characters, they have certain moves that they can just spam all day long. And your opponent can't really do much because it's way too freaking safe. Anyway, that's what I'm doing here. I'm probably going to do it again, no? Ah, uh, he died. I was going to do it again, though. But nope, he died. Anyway, there should be a treasure chest. Let's just grab this real quick. What we got here? Herb of Spiritual Life. Very nice. That will come in handy for the for the final for the boss. That at the end. Which might have something to do with being a giant spider. Because at the beginning, she said that she felt like a bug in a spider's web. Keep that in mind. It's very important. It's foreshadowing the events to come. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, not Frankensteiner. Very nice. Boom. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah, I got him with the shuriken, followed by the ultimate technique. Very nice. All right, now here I believe there are some wolves. Not like the wolves from The Walking Dead, which, which were just lame. We got a great spiritual life. Very nice. And this is the wolf I'm talking about. Look at this. They are an actual threat. Look at this. I'm actually fearing for my life right now. <laughs> nah, not really. These guys are easy. Anyway, boom. Now, you do have to watch out. They have two grab attacks. They have, like, one grab attack where they just grab you. They they tie you in the face with their hand, and then they just sort of punch you with the other hand. That's an instant game over. They also have another attack where they do, like, some kind of shoulder tackle. And then, as soon as they hit you with that shoulder tackle, they jump right on top of you like some kind of freaking zombie. And then they just start uh, feasting all over your innards. You know what I mean? They start... Uh, Eating your stomach, basically, eating your intestines, that sort of stuff, and it's an instant game over. So, let's not have that happen. Boom. Got this guy. Very nice. Yeah, these wolves are actually kind of cool. They were also in that Ninja Game game for the uh, draft, for the DS, which I did not like at all. I actually hated that game. But, uh, yeah, let's not talk about shit right now. Let's talk about a good game. Let's talk about a good Ninja Game game. And, uh, there you go. See? He was doing from the, he was going for the show attack. The lethal. Shoulder, shoulder tackle, remember that? 
And uh, there should be a treasure chest here to my left. Very nice. What else we got here? The Devil's Ray Mushroom. I used it instantly. Don't freak out. The Ninja Cinema does not record me using the items. It just uses them automatically. Not automatically, but it just shows them being used automatically. Anyway. Alright, so now here I believe a bunch of freaking douchebags, a bunch of douchebags from the Black Spider Clan show up here. Yep. You got the guys with the swords, which are generic as all hell. You got the purple guys with the, uh, with the claws on their hands. They look like Barney. And then you got these guys, the, the, the sorcerers, the, the wizards. I call them the wizards. I freaking hate those uh, wizards guys because, uh, and don't confuse them with that movie, The Wizard. You know, with the little kid always saying, California, don't confuse them with that. This, these wizard guys are insanely friggin' tough. They got like three different magic guys. As, as you can see, see? Point, they made my point right there, see? They hit me with a fireball right on my face. <laughs> anyway, they got three attacks. They got the fireball on your face, like that one you just saw. They got some kind of shockwave that comes in from the ground. Three shockwaves, and then they sometimes they'll do two in a row or just one in a row. So that's kind of tricky. You gotta read them. And then they also have like some kind of weird volcano that opens up from the floor. I have no idea how the hell this works. But anyway, it's magic. And holy crap, I am looking like shit. You have one more hit and it's over. But I am gonna go into evil mode. Not gonna give up. Boom! Using an impulse. Very nice. Oh, nice. Frankenstein of this guy, lovely. Take that, take that freaking leg off. Oh yeah, I got him. Boom! She actually brought him back to life after he was dead, just so she could just uh, cut his cut his arm off. Anyway, okay, get this guy with the ultimate technique. No way in hell he can survive this. Let's see. Oh, he actually survived it. God damn. Anyway, he didn't survive for long, so that's cool. And I think that that is it. We are done. What a horrible night. To have a curse, you know, like in that uh, Castlevania 2 game. Uh, anyway, let's see. Is there a treasure chest here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No, nothing. Wasting my time right there. All right. Okay. Is there another treasure chest over here? And there is absolutely nothing. That's awesome. Great. Thank you. Very generous of your part, uh, Tecmo Koei. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, so break these barrels here. Tons of yellow essence. That's awesome. Get all that in there. Okay, I think a bunch of, yeah, a bunch of random guys are going to go up here. You know, I wish I could just face different enemies. Like, see the shockwave attack? He did the shockwave attack. Yeah, so like I was saying, I wish I could face different enemies. You know what I mean? Like, it gets kind of boring just finding the same enemies over and over again. It's these three same guys. And yeah, they threw some wolves in there, but that's pretty much it. The majority of the time, I'm finding these guys. The, the generic thug, the the Barney with the two claws, and then the wizard. God damn it! Give me something else. Give me like I don't know. Give me more wolves. Why can't they just combine them? You know what I mean, why can't I be fighting these black spider ninja clans and wolves at the same time, and the giant golden gargoyles? I mean that would be insanely for the car. And I have got no idea if you can even handle something. But it would be cool. Anyway. Alright, so that guy actually survived. I've got no idea how the hell he actually survived that. That's, uh, that's news to me. Oh, yeah, I got this guy. Oh, my God. Fuck this wizard guy. I hate him. Oh, nice. Took his leg off with the Frankenstein. Took his head off. My bad. Took his head off with the Frankenstein. Lovely. Boom. What the hell is this? Look at this guy. What the hell is this guy's problem? This wizard guy. Yep. He was going for the fireball to the face. I said, hell no. Hell to the no. No fireball to the face, baby. Screw that shit. And I think, yep, the bur the Barney show up here. Oh, my God. I think it's like six of them. I've got no idea. Oh, this guy was alive. And then, boom. I mean, I love, I love these obliteration techniques, by the way. Like, if they're, like, missing a leg or something or a head or an arm, you can just go right up there and finish them, which is really cool. And which is what you're supposed to do, because when they have... They're missing a leg or an arm. They get desperate and they get more dangerous. But anyway, so it's actually that's actually one thing that I freaking love about this game. Just uh oh my god, he got that head in there. Bullshit. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Soon height. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, the uh Alright, took care of those guys. Let's just buy some stuff from the Muramasa shop. I actually bought us some stuff there. It, the ninja cinema does not show it for some reason. But uh, that, that kind of sucks. I got no idea why. 
And yes, this is what I'm talking about. Different enemies. Hell yeah. Alright, now with these golden gargoyles, it's pretty much the same thing. As soon as you see that arm come up, go for the obliteration technique, finish them. Because these guys, they they have a bunch of grab attacks. Like they have an attack where they're like kind of floating in the air. And they just jump right down and just kill you right there. Or just grab you or something like that. And then they have another attack where they just grab you and they just start uh, spitting fire in your face. So that one, that is lethal as well. As well. Boom. Very nice. Lovely. Okay. Take this guy's head off. Nice. Hell yeah. Open sesame. Yes. I love how the doors open as soon as you take out the, uh, the two gargoyles. And what you're looking at right here is the hardest part of the chapter. Because now what they what they did here is they just keep throwing you a bunch of random enemies. You know what I mean? They just throw you like, I think you have to kill like 30 of them in a row. And then when you kill the 30 in a row, that's when the game moves on. The game's like, okay, well you, you've had enough. You've been tortured enough. Okay, let's just let's move on. Let's uh let, let's let you let let's let you fight the final the, the boss of this chapter. And as you can see, see what I'm talking about? Looking like crap. I am looking like pure crap. Again, because it is Master Ninja difficulty, these guys are insanely the annoying. They do more damage, and uh, that's uh, that's the bottom line. That's what's going on right here. You know what I mean? Nothing I can do. So, uh, ultimate technique, very nice. Boom, 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 boom. This guy has got no idea what the hell is going on. The guy had no idea what was happening to him. He was just he just ceased to exist, and he had no idea why. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, let's see here. Yeah. You, any of these uh, douchebags gonna drop me something to heal myself? Some of that lovely blue essence? Oh my god, he almost got me with a freaking fireball. Did you see that? Holy crap. Alright, it doesn't matter. Anyways, ultimate technique. Yeah, this ultimate technique is very nice. It's great when you have like four of them and like this together. That's awesome. Because it just it allows you to take out like three of them or even all four of them. At the same time, so that's awesome. I used the Devil Grey Mushroom there. Don't be, don't freak out. I'm not, uh, I'm not cheating, okay? <laughs> but uh, boom! Ah, the head didn't come off. What a freaking shame. Anyway, boom. See what I mean? It's completely totally, totally safe. I can just spam it all day long, all day freaking long. Frankenstein. That's awesome. Took that guy's head off. Nice. Okay, now there should be. Yes, dude. Remember the Nimpo here because you can see there's some red S's there. You gotta recover that Nimpo right there. And what the hell is this guy doing? The guy just threw some freaking fire right next to the to the Nimpo. What the hell? Anyway, man, these guys are getting desperate. They're almost done. I think I think I'm about to to to, to finish this. To see who the hell is doing this. Like who is sending all these people after me? That's what I want to freaking know. I mean, it's obvious somebody's sending them after me. Gotta be. I think. Because like she says, she feels like a bug in a spider's web. You guys know that? She said that at the beginning. Ah, finally got it. Yes, nice. Let's see what's going on. Some nice blood there on the blades when she uh, uh, sheathed them like that. All right. Lovely angle. You get to see the cathedral, whatever the hell that is. Whoa! Uh oh. Well, well, well. Look who's here. I think her name is Obaba. They don't say her name in this one. They say her name in the third one. All right. What do we got here? Yeah, on the DS game, which sucks balls. You know what? Hand over the eye. Hand over the Viagra collection, and we'll be all we'll be all set to go here. Okay. Uh, I kind of didn't want this angle. No thanks. Um, this is not a good angle right here. I mean, I don't want to see that to be honest. And I agree. What the hell has she done? How the hell did she shove that in there? That's what I want to know. I mean, I hope. Uh, I don't want to know which orifice she used to get, get that dragon eye in there. To be honest, that was a grab. That first attack she did there. This fantastic. This is. I'm gonna call that little spinny move she's doing there. I'm gonna call that the fantastic four attack. Because it, yeah, if you've seen the movie, the first one, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway. She does some weird back dashes here. That's really ah, oh, she got me bullshit. Kill myself and then freak out. She does a fantastic four attack. Okay, this is actually she's actually the only boss. Oh, I think maybe the second boss that she, she can just ah, oh, bullshit. She got me. Okay, but it doesn't matter. I I didn't cheat here or anything like that. I just started mashing buttons, and it allowed me to heal myself. So I didn't cheat. Just uh, throw that out there. And as you can see, she's blocking. She went from the grab attack there. 
Yeah, Genshin. I just remember, yeah, Genshin is also able to block. So, yeah, she's actually, she's, she's, there's only like two, maybe three bosses that can block. I got, I'm not sure. Anyway, beat the crap out of this old piece of shit. You know what? I hate old pieces of shit like this, like this whore. I hate spiders. I hate old women, too. So, this is perfect. I get to take out all my anger and frustration on this Obaba bitch. Yeah, she's just gonna keep spamming that Fantastic Four attack because it's actually it's pretty safe. No! No grabby grabby, get the hell out of here. Ah, she's done. That's it. I love how you just fell back. Like you just got ran over by a train or something. Alright, holy crap. Her, uh, whatever the hell exploded. Her womb exploded, I guess. I don't know how the hell that works. Okay, how is this Dragonite floating in the air? How the hell does this work? There's no gravity here? What the fuck is this? She just grabs it from the air like, hey, look at this! Gotta the Dragon Eye! So yeah, this cutscene is actually pretty important because in the main game, they show Ayane giving the Dragon Eye to Ryu. But it was kind of silly because they didn't actually show how she got the Dragon Eye. You know what I mean? It's just kind of kind of stupid. Uh, Itagaki, being the dumbass that he is, he doesn't, he doesn't know shit. He doesn't know how to freaking uh, direct the game. Because he's a dumbass. So anyway, that is it for this. Oh yeah, this part here. This is a little uh, preview of Ninja Gaiden 3, which is also freaking awesome. Had nothing to do with Tomonobu Itagaki. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed watching this uh, Let's Play. Please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. But the most important thing is to enjoy the content. Later.